Glenn, obviously, uh, I know it's a practice line, but up there with uh, McDavid today and, and Cassian as well. I, know, I mean, I know the lines change all the time, but just what are you looking at to, uh, what do you need to do with those guys? Just play fast, play hard, uh, be good on the boards, uh, especially on the breakouts and, and get it in the hands of the guy that knows how to make things happen. So, um, you know, it's just, it's a lot of fun when you get the opportunity to play with 97 and uh, I've, this year especially, I've gotten the chance to play with Cass a lot and, uh, you know, I have a lot of fun playing with Cass because we kind of play the similar game, high energy type of game. So I don't think much has to change on, on my point other than uh, just being strong on the boards and, and winning puck battles and, and uh, getting the puck in the hands, like I said, of the, um, of the guy that, that can make things happen better than, than, than anyone. Cassian's had a pretty good, heck, almost 30-game stretch now offensively, best of his career. What do you see that he's doing to, to get on the score sheet more often? I think for him it's just confidence. I think he's uh, starting to you know, believe in his skill set and, and, and his finish and, in those areas. Uh, I mean, he was a first-round pick, so uh, to be honest, being skating with him every day for the last three years, I'm not, I'm not that surprised that he's having the success that he has. Uh, he works hard. He's got a good shot. He's actually got a really good hockey sense for a guy that's known more as a checker and a mucker, but uh, he's getting rewarded for his play, and, and it's great to see. We haven't seen a, a scrap like that in a while. Uh, what was that like for you? Uh, it was tiring, for sure. Uh, I know it was entertaining for, for a lot of people. Uh, I think I speak for both guys that were a part of it. Uh, it was a fun one uh, to be in, even giving some shots, taking some shots, and, and all that type of stuff. So, uh, yeah, but at the end of the day, it was, it was pretty tiring. I think it took till like the second period for me to get my legs back. <laughs> he's, so he came looking for it, like right off the bat? Or? Yeah, it, it seemed like it. It was, uh, you know, just trying to do whatever he can to, to get noticed. I mean, I remember being, you know, one of those guys when I first came in the league. So, you know, and for myself, just want to ramp up the intensity to, to start off the game, and that, that was it. Did you have any scouting report on his fighting no, abilities? No. Uh, honestly, I didn't even know uh, he was going to be in the lineup until uh, I, I think Brodziak told me who, who he was, and then I remembered the game that he was in two years ago when we played Minnesota where he was kind of, you know, running around and all that type of stuff. And I think he fought Cassian in that game, so... Uh, Got a, got a quick heads up right before the game started. Did he say thank you when he looked over? Yes, he did. He, uh, it was just, you know, some, actually some real nice words uh, from him to me even after a fight like that. So, um, again, like I said, you just respect the guy in that role, just trying to do what he can to, to help his team and stay, stay up in the big leagues and, you know, try to also bring that old school type of play. Wish there was a little more fighting in the league. Are you okay with where it's at right now? I do. Uh, you know, I, I think it was, especially when I first came in the league, it was nice. Sometimes when you were frustrated, you could take it out, you know, uh, on someone on the other team. And it wasn't just like you were picking on someone, you know, there were guys that were willing to go on the other side. And I think, I think it just added to the intensity and energy of, uh, uh, of, of games and, um, you know, and also, it, you know, it lets the lets the players police themselves. So I, I do wish it was a little bit uh, more old school, like when I started. But you know, how how can you complain with uh, with the with the skill that's that, that's come in and replaced uh, a lot of those guys in the in the third and fourth line? You see that they're uh, big parts of the team. But also, you know, those guys uh, that have done those jobs and do those jobs today, they uh, they play big roles on their team as well. Thank you.